you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Ezra, you want to go with us? No, thanks. I kind of run by my friend's house. All right, let's go, Dee. This is it. Bye. Okay. Bye, Dad. I, I know she's old enough, but it's different with Ezra. She can handle herself, so let's let her go. Okay, so should I go get her? You still want to go to camp with your brother? Yeah. Remember what we told you. Pe people are going to say something. Because I'm different. You're acting like I've never been to school before. I know, but Daisy, this is for a whole week. You'll be with Ezra, of course, but you'll have to call us on the nurse's phone if you need anything. And I will. Well, what do you think? Should we let her go? Of course. If she wants to go. Thank you. You excited? Excited and nervous. Aw, oh, it's okay. This is gonna be fun. You'll still have Ezra, but you can make friends too. And I know you can. Wow. High fashion, Dad. Oh no, this is for you. To go to camp. Huh? Oh, that's for you guys. Now, do you remember what I said? If anyone questions your hearing aid, or you didn't hear them too well, just tell them, I have unilateral deafness, so sometimes I might not hear you from certain directions. Bye! I love you! Are you excited to be at Camp Three Falls? Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Tomorrow we'll be starting strong with the water balloon fight. So bring your swimsuits or something you don't mind getting wet. Oh, hey, Dizzy. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. It's great here. Oh, see you later. I had to put on so much concealer this morning. I look like a raccoon. Don't say that. The girls next door were so loud. Hey, you mind if we sit here? No, I don't mind. Thanks. So, 
What are you listening to? Hey. Oh, pardon? I asked, what are you listening to? Huh? It's fine. Sometimes I listen to music with one in too. Uh, wait, you mean my hearing aid? Sorry, it's just that I have a unilateral deafness. Oh, hey guys. Come and sit with us. We were just sitting here with... Sorry, what's your name again? Uh, Daisy. Oh, that's so pretty. Thanks. Well, Daisy. I'm Dallas. And that's Faye. Jess. Noah. And Pablo. Hey, Daisy. Are you athletic? Uh, no, not really. My parents don't want me losing my hearing aid. But would that get in the way of hanging out with us? We're a pretty athletic group. Uh, no it wouldn't. I can hang out with you guys. Well, we have a game planned out for later today. You can join if you want. Okay. Okay, so how the game works is there's two teams, and each team needs to go across the obstacle. Teammate number one has to go across the obstacles with a candle. If the candle goes out, then teammate number one has to stay there until teammate number two comes and relights it. Whichever team makes it to the other side first wins. Got it? Daisy, Noah, your partners. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, come on, Daisy. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, Daisy, you did amazing. Really? Hey, how would you like to move into our cabin? With me and the other girls? Oh wow. Well, I have to pack all my stuff, but sure, I'd love to. Hey, Faye, Daisy's gonna move in with us, so can you help her get her stuff? <laughs> but seriously, it's not just the girls next door, it's those weird noises at night. What noises? Oh, you don't hear them? Okay, everyone be quiet. I want Daisy to hear this. <laughs> you heard it? We've been hearing it every night this week and every night since. It was probably just a wind. Well, what do you think it is, Dallas? About the sounds? I think it's a ghost. It's a ghost. Simple as that. Probably more than one, in fact. They used to be kids that went to this camp. They probably decided to go exploring near the falls. Someone must have lost balance and fell into the current. <coughs> and now their ghosts lurk around the camp near the cabins. And there are probably girls because boys don't hear the pandemonium on their side of the camp. Well, that's just what I think. Well, I'm turning off the lights if that's okay. Yeah, I was gonna go to bed anyway. Well, good night. Good night.
Nice shot. Thanks. So is this where you've been for the past several days? Oh, day, I didn't see you. I guess you could say that. Oh, will you be at the camp pizza party tonight? For sure. I made a few friends, so I'll probably be going with them. Oh, well, okay. See you there. 97 You can come up if you want All right. This is a nice spot Yeah, I hide up here almost every time we play Uh I didn't know how to say it before, but yeah, what is it? Let's start all these games. Is it a camp tradition? Uh, I don't know. Doss and the others have been doing it for years, but I met them only two years ago through Pablo. One time Dallas said kids before her played these games, so... I guess you could call it a tradition. How long do you think we have to stay up here? Sunrise. Or when Dallas finds us. Whichever comes first. Sunrise? I'm sorry. It's fine. Hey Daisy, are you tired? Yeah, definitely. After last night. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dallas was up all night looking for you guys. Also, where were you hiding? Oh, um, up in the tree. I was with Noah, so... Well, did anything happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, guys. Hey, Daisy. We have one last game plan, so meet us at the bathroom so we can decide who's it, okay? Where were you last night? What do you mean? You said you would be at the camp pizza party and you weren't, so where were you? I was with my friends, and why does it matter if I was there or not? You were with your friends. Then why, when I came to your cabin, everyone was there except you? They said you were out, and you didn't even come back. What? At my cabin? You're not even allowed over there. What's wrong with you? 
When you were the one past the curfew? I don't know if you noticed this. But you weren't even supposed to be here in the first place. And when mom and dad let you go, they vouched me to make sure you're okay. That you didn't get in any trouble. You know what? Hang out with whoever you want. I don't even care anymore. <gasps> Why the bathroom, though? You're it. Hmm. Okay, Dizzy. This is the last game. But this time, there's only one player. You'll be staying in the abandoned outhouse for the remainder of the night. I suggest that you stay quiet. Don't want any creatures finding you. Well, go. It's not like you're the only one who's gone night duty. And one more thing. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Why? The ghost will get you. <laughs> you should go. Okay, who's causing all that racket? If you don't know where you should be, please try to find your cabin groups. You'll find your counselor holding your assigned flag. Um, excuse me? Have you seen my sister? She's a white dog with curly- Sorry kid, but a lot of the campers have already been evacuated. If you really want to know, they're taking everyone to the fire shelter down the mountain. Everyone, I already told you, stay on the field!
I lost the game. Is that smoke? In case of a fire, the emergency bell will ring. And our camp staff will make sure all of you are out of your cabins and safely standing in the field. You will then be evacuated in buses to the nearest fire shelter. The buses are gone. No one's here. They love me.